Today we're going to make a pony bead and pipe cleaner patterning activity bag that you can take with you when you go to the doctor's office, restaurant, or somewhere where you might need a quiet activity for your kids. If you haven't already, go ahead and print out the pony bead patterning um, page. You can just go ahead and download that. When you've downloaded it, uh, go ahead and cut out each of the squares on the black line so that you have individual cards. Go ahead and pause your computer right now so that you can do that. Now that you've cut out all your cards, we're going to start coloring each of the circles according to the colors of your pony beads, and we're going to make some patterns. Um, I have some unusual colors. I have a green, kind of a turquoise, a blue, a purple, and a silver. But you might want to pick some pony beads that are a little more conventional in color. Um, then if your child is younger, for instance, you know, early, late toddler, early preschooler, um, if you go ahead and do simple patterns, what, we, what teachers call A, B patterns. So that would be like green, blue, green, blue, green, blue. And then as some of the cards, you might want to make a little bit harder. Green, green, blue, green, green, blue, or green, green, blue, blue, anything like that. As the children get older, early elementary school, patterning is really a high uh, math skill that they teach. And so they're going to be making their patterns a little more difficult. They'll be doing A, B, C patterns or A, a, B, C, C pattern. So you'll do red, red, blue, yellow, yellow, red, red, blue, yellow, yellow. So if you have older children, you want to make your patterns a little more difficult. Um, I am going to go ahead and make some simple cards and some difficult cards. So if you just go ahead and look at your bead colors and then go ahead and color patterns on each of the cards so that they're all different, um, you can pause your computer while you do that right now. Once you finish coloring all of your um, bead patterns, we're going to take some clear contact paper and we're going to cover them to protect them so that if you're at a restaurant or somewhere and water gets spilled, the cards don't get ruined. We're going to cut some clear contact paper so that it's about a half inch bigger than your pattern um, card. You're going to need two pieces of clear contact paper for each card because we're going to cover the front and the back. So I'm just estimating my size and I'm going to cut several of those so that I can go ahead and start laminating. Go ahead and pause your computer now while you cut apart different, uh, the right amount of contact paper for each of your cards. Once you've cut the clear contact paper for each of the cards, you're going to go ahead and separate the contact paper from the backing. Lay the clear contact paper down on your table, sticky side up. You're going to take your um, pattern card and lay the pattern card right on top of the contact paper so it sticks. Then go ahead and move that one out of the way. Take your second sheet of clear contact paper and separate it from the backing. Lay it down on the table, sticky side up. You're going to take the same card with the um, side that doesn't have contact paper on it and stick it stick onto the sticky side. Go ahead and press down firmly, getting all the air bubbles out, making sure the edges are sealed completely. Once you're done with that, just go ahead and trim the edges off. and you're ready to cover the rest of your cards. So if you go ahead and pause your computer right now and cover the rest of your cards, we'll come back in just a few minutes. Now that we've covered all of our um, bead cards with lamination, I'm going to take my um, pipe cleaners and I'm just gonna cut them in half because they'll fit better in my bag and they really don't even need to be that long. So I have um, six different pipe cleaners now that the kids can use for patterning. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, pipe cleaners, put them in a Ziploc baggie, take all of my patterning cards, put them in a Ziploc baggie, and I'm going to, you can do it two different ways. I'm just going to pour a bunch of pony beads in here. You could actually put the whole bag in there or you could fill a snack size um, bag, um, Ziploc bag, and put that in there too but I think this will be just fine. So I'm going to pour a whole bunch of beads in there. The kids have a wide selection. 
a little shake the air out. So my bag's ready, and the only thing I'm going to add to mine would be a sticker on the outside just telling me what type of um, activity bag this is. So when I'm ready to go out the door, I can go ahead and grab what I'm looking for. If you'd like more activities for activity bags that you can make, visit our Pinterest board under Learning for Kids.